So, welcome back. Anyways, I have been doing some work off camera. The camera died and I plugged it in and it just kept working and working and working. So, I'll give you an overview of what I did yesterday and then I'll show you guys what I was working on this morning. So, not sure what got shown in that time lapse of yesterday, but anyway, I got the passenger side header in. And then I got a bunch of bullshit out of here. I took it here. Took that piece off. I think I have to take that whole accessory off. I gotta do some more research, but now I'm on to this side for today's video. I already got the header off. I took the AC condenser, I think it is, and I just flopped it on top of there. I took this piece out. It went right down in here. I'm still not sure because there's some lines that go to the transmission and I'm just not sure whether or not I have to keep them on that canister or not. So I'm honestly just going to kind of wing it and just put it back together, leave them off and then start it, plug them and then open them up, see what runs better or what. I don't know. I still got to figure it out. Um, but, so yeah, I'm going to set this up and start time-lapsing what's left, I guess. I Alright, so... The footage is everywhere. I missed a lot. Um, anyways, I've got the other side header in. I've got all the, the heat shield things for the spark plugs because if not, then the spark plug wires would rest on the headers and then instantly burn. But still, some of the things are like resting on the pipe, so I'm not too sure on what to do there. Like, because I think they're going to get hella hot and end up melting anyways. But um, I kind of want to start it up. I unplugged a shit ton of stuff from the carburetor, so I don't even know if it's going to run right or even start. But, um, I guess all we can do is try. I put the AC condenser back on. I'm tightening up the line right now. Um, then I'm going to kind of rig some stuff up, um, for the carburetor, and then we'll see if she fires and see how she sounds. Um, I'm hoping it sounds better than what it did before. I mean, it's still going to be open headers, but we'll see what goes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of get everything just so I can kind of run it for a second. Kind of zip tie shit out of the way. Plug some hoses and into some different shit. We're ready to give her a fire. Let's get all these tools off. 
I'm gonna get all these tools off of here and then uh, see what she's got. All right. So this will be my first attempt at trying to start it. It's got no, it's got a bunch of shit missing emissions wise. I have no clue if it's gonna run, but now it's got headers. So everything looks fine. We'll see. First start. Ha ha! Hell yeah. Such a different sound. Now it's time to pull the carburetor and uh, pull the carb and the uh, intake manifold. So, let's get to doing it. I'm gonna put that on a time lapse so hopefully it doesn't die as quick as it usually does. Now it's in the shade though, so we'll see. All right, y'all, so the camera's been dead for a little bit. I've done quite a bit of work. I don't know when the last time it was uh, recording, so I've got pretty much everything torn down. Now I'm on my way to build it up. So I've got the carburetor off, everything else off. I think you guys seen that. And then I was starting to take the intake manifold off and then it died. I believe that's what happened. Anyways, I got the intake manifold off. Take the camera, show you guys what's going on in there. I cleaned it up a little bit, and now I'm just gonna go back together soon here. Yeah, there we go. It looks pretty clean in there. It looks like it's only been messed with like maybe once or twice before. This truck's pretty clean. Um, it's starting to make me think because this thing only has an odometer that goes to about 100,000 then it rolls over. I think it's only been rolled over once. And if it's been rolled over twice, it's super clean. So anyways, can't complain. Everything I've seen there is good. So just going to start cleaning it up a little bit in there and then go back together. Um, I've got a new intake manifold Edelbrock and then I've got an Edel Edelbrock carburetor to go along with it. So yeah. This should be pretty fun. Um, it's pretty simple if you know how to work on, if you get the gist of working on a motor. Um, just do a little bit of research and you should do fine. I mean, I didn't know anything about this motor. I just got some mechanical um, knowledge, just basic. So you just kind of apply that whenever you're going along and you should be fine. So. I'm going to open up the box I've got for the Edelbrock carburetor, I mean intake manifold, sorry. And then take a look at what we got going on and 
I know, I don't know if I have gaskets. I forgot to see if I had gaskets. But nice. We've got the Edelbrock intake manifold. I forget which one I got. Let me see. I got the Performer. So, let's open this bitch up. We've got instructions. Okay. These are. Also instructions. I wonder if that's... Hmm. Alright, cool. So anyways, let's... See if we can tear this open. Spend some time and maybe clean up all the stuff that goes back on here because that shit looks like crap. And then I'm gonna keep this in here so it doesn't get too dirty. Just like that. Then tomorrow I'll run and grab some gaskets. So yeah, this video is kind of all over the place, but anyways, you get the gist of it. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.